Okay, so first of all, um, my name is Stephen Dawes, by the way, this is Palace to the Core. Uh, I've been dallying with um, a different football channel uh, recently, or for the last year or so. Uh, it's called Football to the Core, if you haven't seen it before. It's um, it's basically talking about other football teams apart from Crystal Palace. So it's my thoughts on other teams, other games and things like this. So similar to this this um, channel, but just talking about other football teams. So if you if that's something you think might be interesting to you, then I will leave a link down in the description below. Uh, take a look at it. If you like it, then do consider subscribing. And uh, also leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think I could improve, because I'm always looking to improve things. So uh, if there's any feedback on there, do let me know. You can email me at footballtothecore at gmail.com or uh, let me know down in the comments of this video. If you've uh, checked it out, let me know what you think about it. Okay, so I did a little video well, a little short uh, a couple of days ago about uh, Sam Johnston. And unfortunately, it looks like this, the injury to his elbow is more severe than they first thought. He uh, he went to see a specialist. And unfortunately, it looks as though he's going to be out for the remainder of the season, which means we're going to have uh, probably Dean Henderson in goal for the last 10 or so games of the season. Which, you know, is is, is good in one way because it means Glasner's going to get to see him in action and uh, see how he plays. Obviously, and there are people out there who um, perhaps don't rate him as much as Sam Johnston. Um, I think the jury's still out a little bit about him, but he is the keeper that we're probably going to have going forward to the end of the season. So, you know, best of luck to him. I hope that he uh, hope that he takes the chance that he's been given because, uh, you know, Sam Johnston's a good keeper and it looks as though he was probably going to be uh, Oliver Glasner's number one. So uh, this is his, his, his opportunity to uh, stamp his uh, authority on the uh, on the position as well. So that's how it looks at the moment. Also, Daniel Munoz was injured in uh, in his international game. He well, he went off around half time. Uh, because uh, a lot of people said that he had an injury and he did apparently have a slight injury and was brought off as a precaution so it looks as though the injury he has isn't as bad as they first feared it might be which is good news for us because we don't want any more injuries to deal with we really don't um so let's hope that the Daniel Munoz uh, injury isn't too bad um it's a bit sad for Sam Johnston because I think he's just been getting into his stride getting used to the new formation I think he's been playing well he's going to miss the Euros of course which is also a huge uh, blow to him because I think that he will probably have uh, really you know really moved on leaps and bounds if he'd have gone with the squad to Euro 24 so that's a big blow for him as well so it's sad to see but um, hopefully he will get another crack at it in the future and he's still he's still fairly young so I think he'll get another crack at it in the future which would be fantastic for him as well not such not so good for us i think because jordan pickford had a bit of a howler in the uh in the in the game the other day but well, that's by the by anyway so let me know what you think down in the comment section about the uh the impending inclusion of dean henderson and also the daniel monroe's injury and uh, don't forget to subscribe for all that good stuff on crystal palace and uh everything else to do with the club oh one final thing before i um before i go any further there i don't usually get involved in the politics of the club but there was a, a, a recent article that said that the club are renewing the season tickets without the concession for nhs staff and uh, police and things like that they're going to remove they're removing that concession which means that uh, the tickets will rise for them by about 300 pounds now that's quite a lot of money for people to find in this current climate so i just wanted to get your thoughts on that i mean you know are you a season ticket holder who may be affected by this if you are do let me know how you feel about it i would love to hear your your thoughts about it in the comment section below um because obviously you know it is going to impact whether someone can go to the game or not whether someone can go to the you know to see a match or not so i would love to hear your thoughts on this personally i think they should have kept the concession because you know these are these are people who uh you know help everybody should we say around the country you know they are they are community uh people who support and help and you know and sometimes save people's lives so you know i think it was a good concession to have i can understand why they don't want to continue with it because it is you know they are going to make more money by removing this restriction but let me know down in the comment section what you think i would love to hear from your hear your views whether you are affected or not i'd love to hear your views on it and as i said before don't forget to subscribe for more crystal palace news and i'll see you next time